there's one huge myth that's keeping millions upon millions of people stuck, stuck in their own BS. BS meaning their belief system because they hold the belief that I'll believe it when I see it. That's not how the universe works. In reality, you believe it first and then it manifests in your world. Now you know what you know, mm, sort of. You know what you don't know, also sort of. You don't know what you don't know, for sure. But what you're not realizing is, it's what you know that just ain't so. That's your belief system holding you stuck in the ho-hum, in misery, and when is my life going to change? So the fact is, you will see it when you believe it. This thought goes back thousands of years, all the way back to recorded history. It was really popular over a hundred years ago with people like Claude Bristol, with Charles Hannell, with Wallace D. Waddles, with Napoleon Hill. And the thinking is, as you believe, so it is. When I studied the science of getting rich, that's when my teacher, David Nagel, said to me in response to, I'm having trouble focusing because I'm in so much pain, which I definitely was. He said, choose to feel differently. First, I was really angry with him, though I know he himself went through a very very painful accident or no accidents so I found that to be a very great gift but another really cool gift he gave me was learning what to do with this took a hanger cut it up okay his wires were a little fancier but hey mine were homemade and you can make them yourself so you take them and I'm just holding them real loosely they're free to turn do you know what's making a move? My brain waves. Because science can even prove to you right now that your brain waves are real energy going out, making things happen the way they do. So, right now, I'm looking at them and I want them to turn to my left. Wow. Okay, there they go. And now I want them to turn back to the center. Both of them turn back to the center and move on over to my right. Now I can do that because just before starting this video, I did the very brief exercises that let my left brain communicate with my right brain and also let my right brain function on its own and my left brain function on its own. I then made sure my energy was working accurately left to right, front to back, and top to bottom. Because until I did that, this thing just kept going like this. <laughs> this one was going where I wanted it to go, but not this one. That's a sign to me that what's going on up here needs a little bit cleaning up, I guess you could say, and then my world will be working a whole lot easier. Whatever you're believing, you're creating in your world. Nothing happens by accident. Bad things happen because the universe wants to get your attention. And it will start out with a whisper. It'll move to a nudge. And then it'll start to bring a certain theme into your life that's upsetting, but it'll bring more and more, like the same kind of personality, the same kind of circumstance, until you wake up, pay attention. And the thing is, nothing ever comes into your life without at least one solution. And if you think you need to figure it out all by yourself, you're going to be pedaling your bicycle wheels and not getting anywhere because somebody's holding up the back rear tire. Let 
the universal guidance speak to you because it does in every moment. Oh, here's the thing. The universe talks to you constantly, guiding you toward your best life. It starts with a whisper, then moves to a nudge. If the universe sees that you fail to budge, it gets loud and in your face, pushing you to take your place in community. In humankind, wake up, look around, you will then find the strife in your life is a gift meant to uplift. Yeah, because it is. That's an excerpt from my Thrive Don't Just Survive song. That's how I learned to come back from two brain injuries by seeing the world that way, by changing, by altering the BS, the belief system by which I live in each moment. When I was in the rehab center after the first traumatic brain injury, I discovered all these gifts that happened. My life turned upside down. I wasn't who I used to be, but I had this whole new view of the world. I'm not saying I enjoyed it, but I did enjoy who I got to become and what I got to know that I couldn't possibly have discovered any other way. And it's looking for all those gifts. In the rehab center, the psychologist told me the only people who he ever saw heal were those who looked for and found the gifts of their life situation, i.e. the brain injury and how it altered things for them. Now after that brain injury, I wrote a song and this is the chorus to that song. There's a gift in every moment of every day. I can choose to see the glitter that guides my way. And it's my choice to make this journey with steps that are bold. It's my choice to seek and find. This new path is lined with gold. Because it is. Every single day your path is lined with gold. You will always find what you look for and you will see only what you believe is possible for you. One inch pine board, right? I broke this like pop with the heel of my hand. Could you walk up and do that? You can if you believe you can. Got lost in the move, a picture of me eating fire. A picture of me walking on big old broken glass wine bottles. I didn't have a picture of me, but I walked on 30 feet of 1500 degree coal. No, I didn't run down it, I walked on it. No blisters, no injury, because I believed I could do all of those things. I did all of them with no injury. So what is it that you're stopping yourself from believing? You gotta create it up here first. And the universe goes, oh, I know what you want. And it will give it to you if, it will give it to you if, you don't go to say, universe, I want the opposite of that. In other words, people will spend, well, the recommendation seven minutes a day. And they might do it once in the morning. They might do it once at night. But then they go on the whole rest of their day thinking the same old, same old, same old stuck thoughts running out of their conscious mind. If you're a woman, you got 80,000 thoughts going a day, 95% of which are out of your awareness. Repetitions of yesterday, day before, year before, decades before. If you're a man, that's 65,000 thoughts a day 
95% of which just running over and over and over again. Now, here's what goes on in the world. The universe is talking to you nonstop. If you're listening for a voice, you might hear it. You probably won't because that's not the language the universe usually speaks to you. If you want to experience the life you're meant to live, follow the guidance that's coming at you. What guidance? In every moment of every day, bar none, every moment of every day, the universe is providing information to you, choices that you can take that will move your life forward, choices that you can take that will enrich your life. The universe never, ever gives you an event, a situation, without also giving you at least one solution, but you gotta know how to look for that solution. So what are some ways that it can happen? Well, you might overhear just a little bit of a conversation. Why were you in earshot? There are no accidents. You were there to hear that little piece of conversation. There was some information there for you. You were sitting in a public area. Somebody was reading a book, a magazine, a newspaper, and the words facing out toward you, a message for you. You drive by a billboard, you don't notice most of the words on a billboard. All of a sudden, ah, oh, words exactly what you needed to know that day. One of my friends was explaining how she really, really wanted to learn Spanish. Wasn't taking any steps in that direction, but really wanted to. She got in her car one day, turned on the radio, and was playing a, pa a Spanish station. She said, I did not tune in that station. It got there all by itself. Those are the kinds of things that happen that when you learn to look for them in your environment, you'll notice them. And it will become easier and easier to recognize those messages coming at you. Okay, so sometimes something really awful comes into your world. There aren't any accidents. Life doesn't just happen to you. There are no victims. Unless you decide that people are out to hurt you. Unless you decide the universe, God, whatever words you want, is judging you and punishing you for you may or may not know what. But you decide. There are choices you're making up here. Those six inches between your ears. That's what's running your life. Did you ever notice that someone might have an ailment and they'll say, wow, this resolved it for me. And somebody else will say, Oh, that didn't work for me, but this worked for me, or this and this, and there might be 50 different things that work for each individual. Why did they work? Because of the belief it was going to work. Some say that's how a placebo works. If you believe it's going to work, it will work. If you believe your doctor knows what he or she is doing, you have a much better shot of healing than if you are questioning everything that your doctor is advising. Everything that happens, happens in your highest and your best interests. Because the things that come tough, well, let me ask you this. Who do you know that had a life changing experience and they're much happier now, much more successful without it being a crisis that pushed them into it. Do you know anybody who just made the choice? Because if you look at the most successful people in the world, 
they hit rock bottom or they had horrible injuries or things that happened to someone or something in their lives, devastating losses. And it was up to them to make a choice. Am I going to wallow in self-pity? Which, of course, closes down your life force, your lungs, causing you to start having health issues. Or are you going to stand up straight, let all that life force in to those expanding lungs? And see the gift because 100% of the time, there's a gift in every moment, in every event, in every horrible thing that happens. There's a gift. I'm Ellie Bierman. You'll find me over at yourrelationshipintelligence.com.